it's a little more welcome yeah. to a tour of the stonewall vet hospital lab so what you are looking at right now is some blood work from one of our patients today before they went under anesthesia for surgery in our lab we do a, a lot of different diagnostic tests and we like to be able to show off the things that we can do to help you and your pet remain healthy and so if we look on through of course what i've just showed you is the screen where we can actually check the diagnostic um, information that we've taken with blood work um, urinalysis and other tests and so moving along what we have here is called a prosite this actually counts cells it, it counts red blood cells white blood cells and platelets and then the information of course comes up on our screen here and we have our red blood cells our platelet numbers as well as our white blood cell count and so important information especially if we're doing surgery here we have what we call our catalyst and our catalyst checks our biochemistry and our biochemistry is important because we want to know what our kidneys are doing, our, what our liver is doing, what our electrolytes and our proteins are doing, our pancreas, etc., etc. And so this machine counts or um, checks what those levels are against a regulated norm and so then we can know how your pet is doing in their own body. We also can check for cortisol levels, thyroid hormone, bile acids, um, etc, etc because a lot of our pets have diseases that are associated with those hormonal changes as well. Here we have our 40x test. This is the test that we run uh, spring after spring to make sure that your patients have or your pets have not gotten heartworm disease, Lyme disease, ehrlichia or anaplasma and those last three I mentioned are all from deer tick bites. Another reason that we ask you to vaccinate your pets against Lyme disease as well as um, give them their tick preventatives every year. The next thing you see here is a urinalysis SETI view. What this does is actually checks to see if the urine sample is normal. We actually ran a urine sample on a patient this morning and I think I can show you that right here. So this little patient has um, quite a lot of information that comes from the urine. This little patient has what we call vulvitis and she is on some um, antibiotics for that. So carrying on through our lab, the next thing you'll see is this big SETI view machine and that gives us a lot of information that you would have just seen on our screen over there. And then moving on through, we come to a couple of more old fashioned things, a centrifuge and a blood rocker, and of course, a microscope. I'll come back to that screen in a second. On our microscope, we can look at all sorts of different samples. I'll try to show you the sample that we have here at the moment, but essentially what this is, is from a mass um, from a dog, and it's quite cellular. Um, this one we did send away to a pathologist to find out what is actually going on with that dog. Here behind us, we have our fecal analysis reports and our ear and skin cytology analysis reports. As you know, ear problems are a huge issue in dogs, sometimes cats as well. And so we're often looking under the microscope at what is happening with your pet's ears. This is a new piece of um, equipment for us in our lab. This is our digital cytology machine. And so what we do is we make a slide from a fine needle aspirate or biopsy that we get from your pet. And then we turn it into a slide and send it to a pathologist who then reads the slide, tells us what they have found and how to treat it. So I would like to say thank you for watching this short video about um, our little lab that we maintain here at the Stonewall Vet Hospital and we will wish you a wonderful day. Bye for now.